What's going on my Fibonacci friends? It's your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be going over a very interesting article briefly and checking out the crypto market prices as well as the Cardano chart. Also before we get into this video too deep I just want to thank you guys over on Twitter and head you guys over to Twitter to let you know that I do tweet a lot over there about Cardano and I retweet a lot of news so if you want to check me out over there don't forget to do so. Now without further ado I want to check out this article that really caught my eye that actually Corn Bureau uh, mentioned in one of his tweets on Twitter, which I did retweet as well. But nearly 90% of cryptocurrency investors surveyed say they weren't scared away by May's brutal sell off and are planning to buy more. This is a very huge headline, and there is some things behind this survey that um, don't make it as bullish, but it is still very bullish um, because. People who are trading cryptocurrency are doing so with long term vision because they do believe in it long term, which is really awesome. Even if they are just trying to make money, they know the price is going to go up because the technology is going to get better and more adoption comes. The bigger the price is going to be per one Bitcoin, the bigger the price is going to be of top cryptocurrencies. So 87% of respondents in a survey, so not quite 90%, pretty close though, um, by the asset broker Vo Voyager. Vo Voyager Digital plan to buy more digital currencies in the upcoming months. Voyager said the survey indicates crypto buyers will take advantage of the recent market sell off led by Bitcoin. Crypto buyers are also bullish on Cardano and optimistic about a Bitcoin ETF this year in the US. So the recent sell off of uh, over 20% of pretty much the entire market valuation doesn't really scare these buyers um, in this survey, and at least not 90% of them. 90% uh, of them. In the company's second quarter retail investor sentiment survey said they plan to increase their crypto holdings in the next quarter. So I imagine they're just dollar cost averaging or buying the freaking dips. And the survey captured responses from 3,671 participants at the end of May, during which Bitcoin led a plunge in prices throughout the market. So during the Bitcoin plunge, people are getting uh, less fearful in the survey and more greedy. But the overall market sentiment is fearful. So these people are probably more active traders. They are actually, I know that for a fact. I want to highlight this before we move too far into this article. Respondents were chosen based on a highly active trader status. This is going to put some bias in this survey for sure. And the higher active traders, higher active trader status is actually determined by users ex ex executing more than 50 trades in the last 30 days, okay, 50 to 100. So a lot of trades. These people obviously are going to be very passionate about cryptocurrency, kind of a biased survey. But at the same time, the fact that there's thousands of people that feel this way about um, the market sentiments for the long term, and they're not scared about the low prices right now, or if it goes any lower, is bullish overall in my mind. Now, these um, the survey also showed an average of five, 7 out of 10 investors holding bullish sentiment for Bitcoin price over the next three months. So these people also think not just long term, but in the next three months, Bitcoin's going to go up. And I actually agree, even with all the FUD from China and you know Elon Musk and everything else, I think in general, people are realizing that Bitcoin is somewhat inevitable. And so is cryptocurrency as a whole. As technology emerges and problems get solved and places like El Salvador adopt Bitcoin, things are going to do very well. So Bitcoin's market cap has dropped almost 30% um, since really the all time high, which is okay. But it's something to note that people aren't scared, at least not the highly active traders, they are not scared. And looking at so called altcoins, Voyager said investors are most bullish on Cardano at 55% of uh, investors being bullish on Cardano which is really awesome. And then the follow up is Dogecoin in terms of altcoins at 11%. And that's pretty awesome. I'm really digging this survey, although it's a bit biased. Voyager said its results were based on a sample set of more than 1.6 million verified users in an anonymous online survey. There is still something to note that people aren't scared to hold their positions and buy more when it's dipping which is overall just going to support the market long term and it's going to allow um, you know, people to get maybe some more stability there's still going to be that volatility in there but knowing that it's not going to go to zero is something that people can definitely find comfort in and it's going to put less selling pressure on the general you know retail investor 
Now looking at the Cardano price chart, we're not going to do any Fibonacci here or anything like that. Nothing crazy, no technical analysis really. I just want to show you guys and ask you guys what you think is happening with Cardano. Obviously, Bitcoin is going to probably lead the way here, but Cardano does have a mind of its own in some ways, and we've seen that in the past. Now, what I want to do here, though, is just highlight zooming out. OK, we zoom out one week, um, although many people are saying Cardano is trash, you know, it's going down in value. It's terrible. We just see green candles all the time when you zoom out. If you zoom out, you do not see very many red candles. I mean, this red candle is kind of intimidating and big, but that was when Bitcoin crashed. That's when everything crashed. So you kind of have to expect that. And I just want to highlight the fact that you zoom out, you're not going to find uh, that much downside to this. Obviously, now it's kind of scary. Is it going to go lower? Could it come back down here to 18 cents? Uh, probably not. Chances are its support is set in at a dollar in my mind. I don't think it's going to go below that dollar mark. Obviously, it could if Bitcoin were to crash hard. Um, but zooming out, you're going to see Cardano price is still super strong. And yes, we do have a lot more, you know, upside being in down here. But I don't think Cardano price is going anywhere uh, too far down. And if it does, I'm going to be buying more either way because I do expect it to do really well long term, as I'm sure many of you on this channel know. I'm very bullish on Cardano as half my videos, actually 90% of my videos are on Cardano. Now, one last thing before we go, I just want to show you guys Bitcoin has been holding above 40,000 quite well. It's doing very nice and I'm really liking seeing that. As I said that it dropped below 40,000, but it's been holding the 40,000 mark um, around there pretty consistently. Obviously, we're not out of the woods just yet. If we need to kind of get above that $47,000 resistance to actually see um, us not hitting that death cross, I believe. If you don't know what the death cross is, essentially, it's bad. If we hit the death cross, it's not going to look so good, uh, most likely. But so far, uh, Bitcoin has been doing pretty well these past few days. And I'm liking how the market sentiment is going. A lot less FUD recently. Obviously, China is the king of FUD right now. But that's just the video for today. I want to update you guys a bit on the market and my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, I'm in my mom's basement right now. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet with a floating head. Well, in this case, I don't have a green screen, so it's not a floating head. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great freaking day. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful whatsoever. If you did, smash the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Because like a bunch of you aren't subscribed, which is weird. But thank you so much for watching. Peace out.